Right. Anyone inside? Come out now. Get your hands up. Hands up now. I need my lawyer. Help. They're taking me out in wet clothes. I knew when you guys hung around that. I'm going to take it out of your pocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In a world where human corruption reaches new lows every day, nobody seems to be safe. In today's video, we're diving into the shocking moments when these offenders were caught by authorities just in the nick of time. Just like in our first case, when a predator was confronted right there at the scene of the crime. Why is you touching me? Okay. It's against my first... Right. On January 10, 2024, an offender named Richard inappropriately touched a girl at a gym in Skokie, Illinois while posing as a staff member. However, once he was reported and officers arrived on the scene, they found him in what was the most ridiculous attempt to dodge responsibility. Okay, I'm asking you to get out. Uh, you gotta get out. Going nowhere. I'm gym. Okay, well, there's somebody out there that says you put hands on them, so... I'm, this is Sir, a battery investigation. I'm a federal officer. I ain't put my hands on nobody. Okay. You want to identify yourself? Richard Anthony Perkins. Okay. How do you spell your name, Richard? None of your motherfucking business. Don't Give me your captain up. here. Don't Cut don't on the motherfucking... Step back, step back. Hey, you touching me? Yeah, because you're coming up to me. Uh, most definitely I am. Because I know my I'm right. Up. For someone claiming to be a federal officer, Richard was incredibly hostile and defensive with these officers, a behavior no innocent individual would dare to show. Sir, if you touch me, I will goddamn it do what I must do to desist myself. I need you to get out. You don't need me to do s Yeah. Can you get out? Man, I'm a bad memory. Give me one second. Give me one second. Do you have his membership info? Because he's not being very cooperative. His name's Richard something. It would have helped Richard if he instead desisted from groping innocent women, especially in a space where they're supposed to be safe and comfortable. No, 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 just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. We'll go talk right there. Why don't you tell me what happened with her? No, I don't know. You tell me what happened. Get over here, man. Get over here. What, man? You, man, come on, man. Come on. What's going on here? You talk well, over I'd here. like to talk to you away from her. Okay, her. what's going on here? I'd like to talk to you away I don't got to move because you nothing... You said you put hands on her. When she, huh? didn't, she didn't want... She, you put hands on her. Sir... Please stop playing, sir. Richard acted like the fact that he might possibly commit such a crime was a completely out of this world claim. But as the situation continued, he showed just what kind of person he was. Oh, well, take her and no. take her to the hospital then. No. If I put hands on her, yeah, there would be marks on her. You were rubbing on her. No. Okay. So what were you guys doing in the massage room? None of your business, young man. Okay. Well, so you're admitting that you were... No, I was not admitting exactly. anything okay. until you get me your sergeant here. You don't, need my, you don't need my sergeant. Oh, sir, I need your sergeant. No, you don't. So what's your name? None of your mother... I'm is. asking you to identify yourself. And I'm telling you to go okay, get your sergeant. Domestic battery investigation. Or I'm sorry, this is sir, a battery investigation. Go get your yes. sergeant, sir. No, we're not I'm playing this talking. game. Richard continuously showed the officer a nasty attitude, talking down to them and trying to put up false bravado as if that would save him from what came next. Why is you touching me because when you told me to step her. over here okay. away from her? Now, and you're grabbing me because, officer, I didn't do anything okay. to you, and you're grabbing me. Why is you touching me? Okay. It's against my about. first amendment right. I'm not talking to nobody until okay. you get your okay. sergeant here because I understand my constitutional right. Get so me your you motherfucking sergeant here we don't need because you antagonize me. No, you, you're the one that started all heated. I didn't We're do just nothing. To talk Give to me you. your sergeant, boy. Although someone's right to remain silent and the First Amendment should be respected, it's another thing entirely to try and exercise it in a sexual battery investigation. An incredibly bad look for Richard. Let's start with your name. None of your business. I'm a pan so member. You're failing, you're failing to identify yourself. Okay? I'm a pan that can be considered here. obstructing. Okay, sir, so I just want your sergeant. I gave you a direct order or a direct you're command not my supervisor, so to you get, can't me, get me a uh, sergeant. Let's start off with your name and I'll get you my sergeant. Dick Person. That's not your name. What's your le full legal name? Dick Person. Okay, what's your birthday, Mr. Dick? Dick Person, sir. Okay. Give me your sergeant here. 
What's hilarious about Richard's behavior here is the way he tried to talk down to the officers as if they were kids, but at the same time acted like an immature teenager with his petty insults. Uh, she felt pressured into getting a massage from him. So he was feeling on her and he was over. She felt very, like, trapped in that room. And he moves his phone away. He then starts, like, massaging. He's massaging. She apparently told him to stop. He continues. Who is she? Is she just short then? She's just a person. Is she an adult? Mm hmm. Where is she walk down? She wants a psychic place. As the officer explained the situation to his sergeant, the chilling details of the girl's harassment came out, and amazingly, they didn't arrest him right then and there. However, Richard's side of the story was even more bizarre, if not downright laughable. Touch no one inappropriate. I did not assault anyone. Okay. Everything that I did was recorded, and I got recorded. But you gotta call corporate to allow me to play the recording for you because everything I do is recorded. Sure. Where was the recording taking place? Um, sir, with my personal. So you talk to corporate. So with, with your personal, like personal uh, phone um, or what? Sir, you talk to corporate because okay. if corporate told me to surrender the video to you, sure, I will surrender the video to you. Okay. You may be wondering what Richard meant when he talked about this mysterious corporate he worked for that caused him to grope that girl. And the answer would be extremely concerning. I work for PNC Investment Group, okay. a private company that analyzes business from the inside out, Got it. and okay. we make things pop. Okay. I've been giving out free promotional to everybody in the gym tonight, man and both women. Okay. What is the promotional? I'm not familiar um, with the that. The promotional is I buy them. Uh, 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 um, anything that they want okay. on the company credit card account. So any gym members you any offer? Any gym okay. membership. Okay. I have multiple clients throughout that, that have been taking me up on my offer. Got it. I've been walking people around, helping people, picking up weights. If this really was his company's business model, walking up to people and doing them these strange personal favors, then I wonder why they were in a position to analyze other businesses. Or perhaps, more likely, Richard was making this up on the spot. What was the last thing that you bought for somebody here today? Uh, let's see. Um, I bought that young lady a massage right there. Okay. Where did that massage happen at? I don't know because wherever she said it happened. I, I didn't talk to her, man. I will go talk to her and okay. see. Is I there, don't know. Is there a masseuse that works here right now? Or? Well, sir, I don't know because I'm not a part of that company. I'm with DNC Investment Group. How much did the massage uh, cost? Huh? It didn't cost her nothing. Well, how much did it cost you? It didn't cost me nothing because it cost with the company. Okay. Are uh, you the person that gives the massage? No, I'm not the big get a massage. Who does? The big. Oh, the, the bed? Or yes. The it's fascinating how Richard tried to adopt such an official and sophisticated attitude when minutes ago he was throwing a petty tantrum. Okay. How long are the massages? Um, I don't... Well, there's a time setting on the massage piece. Okay. There's five minutes, ten minutes, twenty-five. I think the young manager here set it for twenty-six minutes, and I think she was done in twenty and she got on the step massager. Okay. So whatever she said happened, we so, got So how does the massage know? work? Like, is there... I don't, you gotta go ask us, sir. Stop okay. patronizing me, young man. I, I'm Arrest not. me and get me my lawyer, or please take me at face value. Even if the company he claimed to be working for was real, I doubt Richard is still gonna be employed there after this little stunt of his, and especially not after what happened next. Every transaction with everybody, we're just going to put you under arrest for a, okay. a battery right now. We'll okay. talk more about it at the station. Whatever okay. you choose to do. All right. I just want to make sure you understand okay. what's going Can on. Okay, could I get dressed? You're going to have to come out like this. Oh, so I'm going to have... So I'm not going to leave my mother property in this gym. Oh, that's my property right there. Yes, sir, in that gym. Which stuff is yours? All that stuff. I'm not leaving my stuff okay. here. May I get dressed? I'm not giving y'all no problem, Sarge. Sarge, we'll bring it. We'll bring it. I'm not giving y'all no problem. Richard would be placed under arrest after the officers got sick of nauseating excuses, but it was at that moment that Richard revealed the true extent of his immaturity, all over the smallest reason. Sarge, I'm not okay. walking out of here. Right. Get me my lawyer right now. It's not the way that it works. We want to make sure that your son's not left here on, on a time. He has the red headphones. Okay. Get me my lawyer right now because you are violating. May I get dressed and walk around out of here right 
If that's your stuff, we'll, you we'll bring it with you. My we'll hit. bring it, but you're no, not No, I would not walk out of here in shorts. Well, you have to. The car's right No, here. it's we're, winter time. I will get dressed like a man. We're not, we're not changing. We're walking I will around. get dressed like a man. We'll it's funny how only now, in the middle of a tantrum, was Richard concerned about his masculinity. But the same concern didn't occur to him when he manhandled that poor girl. All right. I could change right now. Also, why are you taking my stuff out the door? I would not move without getting... Uh, I would not go out of here. What? We'll grab a hobble and then we'll just yeah. carry I would we'll not go out, out of here. What? That I am what? I just got out the pool and I got dry clothes. This is against my constitutional right. We're giving you one last opportunity. Are you going to walk on your own? No, I'm not going to walk okay, so right outside. Door. Here he was, a grown man on the floor, surrounded by cops for a heinous crime, and the best he could do was throw a fit over wet clothes. It would only get worse from here. Okay, so. All right, all right. All right. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 they hurt me. I need to get dropped. Oh, they hurt me. Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer. They hurt me. They hurt me. No, I got a constitutional hey. help. Hey. Help. Hey. Help. Ah. I need my lawyer. Help. They're taking me out in wet clothes. Please. The only way this kind of behavior from Richard would be acceptable is if he was four years old. Because having to be carried around screaming like a toddler has to be the worst way to react to a harassment charge. I got torn and screws in me. Just pick them up. Whoa, I got torn screws yep. in me. Ready? And it's hurt. I'm, in. I'm not refusing. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. 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 Officer. Awesome. Uh, right. No, if you turn me on my back, I'm going to sue the shit. What do you want? Uh, the only thing I can't have to do is I was only face down, but I mean, as long as you're like this, as long as you're like this. Away from you, officer. Don't do that. Okay. See you at court. Don't do that. See y'all at court. Bring y'all evidence. Richard would, in fact, not see them at court as, although his case is still ongoing, one can hope that he has been safely put in the county jail and is suffering from multiple felony charges. Anyone inside, come out now, with your hands up! Hands up now! On March 1st, 2024, in Akron, Ohio, a father left his two-year-old son in a running pickup truck outside a dollar store while he went inside. However, during this time, a man named Larry Spence II entered the truck and immediately drove away, prompting a block-wide manhunt for him. Hey guys, let's get somebody on the uh, west side of this. I don't, he said he walked this way, but they're, they're claiming he's not down here. Give me a... They, nobody walked down there, right? Listen, here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. That guy just ki kidnapped his daughter. Okay, the daughter's in the car, so this is kind of a big deal. That's why everybody's here. Oh my God! I put it on my kid's life. Nobody walked. Where'd he go though? I had to have been that way. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my grandma. Let's get the A. Let's get perimeter on the side. The footage reveals police interrogating witnesses who claimed that Spence halted the vehicle in this location and fled on foot. At the same time, investigations in other areas were heating up. Akron police, come out. Hey, Akron police, come out. Come out. Can someone call? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I can't see over there. I can't see. Right. Right. Anyone inside? Come out now with your hands up! Hands up now! Oh, we got a male coming out to your right. Hey. See, how many people are in here still? Any white males in there? No. No. No white males in there. Police conducted a raid on a nearby gaming establishment where Spence might have been hiding. However, one simple mistake made by Spence ultimately led to his justice. What's your name, buddy? You okay? What's your name? You don't know your name? Water. 
The father left his phone in the pickup truck, which enabled Officer Semchi to track the vehicle's location and successfully rescue the toddler. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. You're all right. You like, check this out. You like flashlights? No. It's okay. Do you want to hold this? No. No. All right. It's all right. It's okay. Hey, look. I found a little car for you sitting down there. It's okay. Officer Semchi quickly grasped the situation and while waiting for his colleagues set aside his tough demeanor to soothe the child. Meanwhile, other officers continued their search for Spence. The radio promptly alerted the officer that Spence had been apprehended near the establishment. Meanwhile, Officer Semchi remained with one of the most important tasks of all. Okay, here, let's look at some books. Yeah, I'm 23. Uh, I can go 45, back home. We got some books here. You like, you like dinos? I like the, my, my little boy likes dinos. Officer Semchi truly set himself apart from many officers in today's age, simply by demonstrating not only strong instincts, but also the emotional intelligence needed to comfort a distressed child. You got any snacks in this bag? You want some snacks or something? I might have snacks in my lunchbox. I'll look. There you go. Hey, I, f hey, I found some pretzels. You want some pretzels? Daddy. Daddy. It's okay. My daddy is. My daddy is. Daddy is. Daddy is. Daddy is. Here you go. You want a pouch? I found a pouch. Do you like these? No. Are you hungry? No. Okay, we're going to get you to your daddy, all right, buddy? Okay. Consider the kind of twisted individual who would drive away with someone else's kid, causing such trauma. Fortunately, justice came knocking at Spence's door. This is peak law enforcement performance, with Spence quickly apprehended and safely locked away from the rest of the world, in which he clearly did not belong. This incident alone should make most parents think twice before they decide to just leave their children behind, even for a little bit. I think it was very traumatizing for everybody, for the family, for the mother and father. I can't imagine what they were feeling at the time, Semchi said. Predators come in all shapes and sizes, some even continuing to work beneath the shadows, even years after their first conviction, never learning their lesson in this next case. Hey, I knew when you guys hung around that I'm gonna take it out of your pocket, okay? Oh, yeah. On June 21, 2023 in Cranston, Rhode Island, a woman found a drone hovering right outside her bathroom, peeping inside, and called the police. Two days later, officers tracked the drone to its owner, a registered se Bender, Jones and confronted him. I called the owner, I called the, uh, 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 the second in charge. Uh, yeah, they, they said that you had called. They were more concerned because apparently you never call out. You're always there and they were just 
the way you were saying sorry, they were just very concerned about you for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But. When he realized he had been caught, Jones decided to take days off from work and hide at home, and the officer put up an impressive display of acting dumb about it. But Jones was already nothing short of incredibly suspicious. I'm actually surprised that you guys are here for this. Um, um, I was waiting for you guys to come pick me up. For something that happened earlier? Yeah. Okay. Have you talked to anybody about that? What do you mean? Like detective-wise or anything? Do no. You, do you still have to, are you still registered? No, I no. mean, that, that, my prior incident, that's all. That's all done. It's okay. almost 25 years okay. ago. Okay. Right. This prior incident Jones referred to was when he was first convicted by a grand jury in the 1990s in a case of sexual assault. Given his previous history, there was no way he was flying around a drone in other people's homes for any innocent reason. Which um, I was uh, contacted by the family last night at 10.30. Okay. okay. <sighs> it's basically invasion of privacy. Okay. Um, very uh, ashamed about this. Um, very embarrassed. Okay. But I had a drone. And I actually flew it in the neighbor's yard, and which I thought that that was what what we get for right now. Yes. Yeah. Given the fact that Jones had been expected to get arrested at that moment, it's safe to say he knew the severity of his crimes and yet still attempted them. Truly despicable. No weapons, nothing on you, right? No. Just gotta pat you down quick. Okay. okay. Just your wallet. Yeah. All right. Can you even keep that on you? Just walk over to my car. You're just being detained right now just because of the statements you made to us. And we're still trying to figure out what's going on, okay? Okay. So, like I said, you're just detained. You're not under arrest. So just have a seat in there, okay? I imagine this would be one of the more difficult parts about being a police officer, having to keep a neutral and professional attitude when people like Jones deserve to be taken to jail immediately. All right, so here's what's going on. There is an investigation. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you're you're aware of that. You kind of know what's going on. With that. Right. We're asking if you would like to get in your own truck, follow us down to the station, speak with the detective that's going to be handling the case. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe it's not. We don't know. It's still being investigated. So, as of right now, there's no charges against you. Okay. Yeah. So we're not going to take you. If you would like to come down to the station and clear this all up on your own, we would really appreciate that. Yeah. It's completely up to you at this point. The officers were at a hard place here, as the victims had not pressed any charges, so the only way to get Jones would be if he came to the station willingly. However, his response is what honestly sealed his guilt. Yeah, my only, <laughs> my only fear is that I go down there and I speak to the detective, and not with legal representation, mm -hmm. and then I end up staying there. You know, if, if you'd like to call call an attorney, speak to whoever you need to, and yeah. then come down and speak with them. My, that's... Uh, the owner of my company, I spoke to him this morning. Okay. And uh, he has uh, a lawyer that he okay. uses, and uh, he was going to run the situation by him okay. to get his legal advice. Okay. Jones knew exactly what was going on here, and keep in mind, was still very much aware of his guilt, which is why he refused the officer on such a minor excuse. But no innocent person would act this way, and the officers knew that. Okay. I knew when you guys hung around that... Yeah. I'm gonna take it out of your pocket, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, We're gonna do it, I'll cuff you out of the car, we're not gonna do it for any day. All oh, right, thank you. you. You've been nothing but good with us, I'm not gonna do that to you. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you if we could, you know, Courtesy. I know it, it's not protocol, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They, it's all tempted back here. They want to see it. Yeah. Right. I don't want those to take up on you. They quickly had to drop the friendly attitude and forcibly take Jones down to the station as an incident like this could not be just ignored, charges or no. Unfortunately, though, 
I don't believe so. If you're not on probation or parole, you'll get you'll get uh, you'll get bail on this and you'll be you'll be out. Unfortunately, the victims would never press charges, and the most the officers could get on Jones was a possible limited amount of time in jail. He later admitted to operating the drone and was arrested on video voyeurism charges. He's charged with one felony count of video voyeurism. Police said it's possible he could be released from jail and returned to his home. That is all for today. Let me know in the comments below which Predator takedown you liked the most. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe so you can take advantage of the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.